all right hi everyone um hey what's up guys so i know it's been a while and um i'm here to do a reaction video now this song that i actually wanna wanna do it's actually a song from um what year is this it's a it's a 2017 song and I actually listened to like the first minute of it, but then I never got to finish it because I wanted to react to it like on camera. Um, so this is a song by Joanna Lucas and it's called I'm Not Racist. I think the song is so controversial because if you look it up on Google, it you know with music videos, if you search for it, um, you're gonna be able to see that option on Google to click on it on YouTube like you're just gonna be given that screenshot so that you could go directly to it search it on um, Google and that doesn't happen because I think Google is trying to maybe say hey bruh um, take it easy <laughs> anyway um, I just want to get into the song um, I want to start watching it and just share my views on it so this is me doing Joanna Lucas, I'm not racist. And um, here we go, three, two, one, let's go. With all due respect, I don't have pity for you black niggas, that's the way I feel. Screaming black lives matter, all the black guys rather be dead beats than pay your bills. Yelling nigga this and nigga that, call everybody nigga and get a nigga mad. As soon as I say nigga, then everyone react and wanna swing at me and call me racist cause I ain't black. We pound that then. Talking about slavery like you was around back then. Like you was picking cotton off the fucking ground back then. Like you was on the plantation getting down back then. Alright. Look. I see a black man aiming his gun. But I'd rather see a black man claiming his son. And I don't mean just for one day and you done. I mean, you still trapped in a rut. And I work my ass off and pay my taxes for what? So you can keep living on free government assistance Food stands for your children But you still tryna sell them for some weed and some liquor Or a fucking babysitter while you party on the road Cause you ain't got no fucking goals You already late You motherfuckers need to get your damn priorities straight Wait It's like you proud to be fake But you lazy as fuck And you rather sell drugs and get a job and be straight And then you turn around and complain about the poverty rate Fuck out of my face You can't escape problems You can pray for some change but can't break a dollar Got nobody else to blame, so you blame Donald. They fucked the world with a Make America Great Connor. My boy's been back. I'm not racist. My sister's boyfriend's black. I'm not racist. My sister in law's baby cousin Tracy got a brother and his girlfriend's black. My head's in the cloud. Heard it's not enough jobs for all the men in your house. Maybe we should build a wall to keep the Mexicans out. Or maybe we should send them all to the ghetto for now. I'm not racist. And I never lied, but I think it's a disconnect between your culture and mine. I worship the Einsteins, study the Steve Jobs, but you ride Tupac's dick like he was a fucking god. Oh my god. And all you care about is rapping and stunting and being ratchet. And that's the nigga within you. Music right in your brain and slowly start to convince you. Then you let your kids listen and then the cycle continues. Blame it all on the menu. Blame it on those drinks. Blame it on everybody except for your own race. Blame it on white privileges. Blame it on white kids and just blame it on white citizens. Aim it the vice president. <laughs> Watch your class clowns, niggas kneeling on the field, that's a flag down How dare you try to make demands for this money, you gon' show us some respect, you gon' stand for this country, nigga I'm not racist, I'm, for this country. I'm just prepared for this type of war I heard Eminem's rap at the awards, who's he fighting for? Y'all can take that motherfucker too, he ain't white no more It's like you wanna be so famous, you'll do anything for attention and a little payment I can't take you nowhere without people pointing fingers Pants hanging off your ass, you ain't got no home training Put your fucking pants up, nigga Put that suit back on, take that do-rag off Take that goat out your mouth, quit the pitiful stuff And then maybe police will stop killing you fuck you what the fuck? I'm not racist It's like we're living in the same building but splitting the two floors I'm not racist But there's two sides of every story, I wish that I knew yours I wish that I knew yours. I'm not racist. I swear. What all disrespect? Oh, so I just paused where the black guy's like, with all disrespect, you know, 
Um, so I didn't know that in the song, the black guy also states his point of view. I thought it's just about the white guy speaking his point of view throughout. And then it's like, ah, oh, that was different. So I just paused it immediately where the white guy, um, sorry, the black guy um, wants to share his point of view at three minutes, 14. And I think that's just for me when I'm, when I'm editing so that I know where the time stamp is. Um, so yeah. I'm interested to hear what the black guy is going to say um, in defense to all the allegations or to simply state his point of view um, concerning all of this, concerning race, concerning what it means to be black in America. And of course, I'm not American. Perhaps you could tell by my accent, but as a black person still, um, and also because America is a great nation, whether you like it or not, America influences the world. And therefore, though I may not understand fully the struggles of the african or black american because of being in the same race um it's it does concern me to know what my fellow people are going through and because of the times we live in you cannot be ignorant of the world and say well that doesn't really concern me therefore um it's irrelevant for me so yeah i'm continuing the video Click. Respect, I don't really like you white motherfuckers That's just where I'm at Screaming all lives matter is a protest To my protest, what kind of shit is that? And that's one war you'll never win The power in the word nigga is a different sin We shouldn't say it but we do And that's just what it is But that don't mean that you can say it Just cause you got nigga friends Nigga That word was originated for you to keep us under And when we use it we know that's just how we greet each other And when you use it we know there's a double meaning under And even if I wasn't picking cotton physically that don't mean I'm not infected by the history My grandmama was a slave, that shit gets to me And you ain't got no motherfucking sympathy, you pussy nigga I'm sorry, you can never fail my life I'm Trying to have faith, but I never feel alright It's hard to elevate when this country's ran by whites Judging me by my skin color and my blackness Trying to find a job and ain't nobody call me back yet Now I gotta sell drugs and put food in my cabinet You crackers ain't slick, this is all a part of your tactics Don't talk about no motherfucking taxes When I ain't making no dough you think you know everything, but you don't. You wanna copy our slang and everything that we know. Try to steal black culture and make it your own. Whoa. Fuck, I'm exhausted. I can't even drive without the cops trying to start shit. I'm tired of this systematic racism bullshit. All you do is false shit. This the shit that I'm false with. And you don't know shit about my people. That's what bothers you. You don't know about no fried chicken or no barbecue. You don't know about the two step or no loose change. You don't know about no two chains or no Kool Aid. You don't know. And even though the rock was half as black. You hated President Obama, I know that's a fact You can't wait to get him out and put a cracker back And then you gave us Donald Trump and I was paid back for that I'm not racist I never lied, but I know there's a disconnect between your culture and mine Yeah, I praised Tupac like he was a fucking god He was fighting for his life way before he fucking died Nigga, die, nigga And all you care about is money and power and being ugly And that's the cracker within you Hit it all in your brain and slowly start to convince you Then you teach it to your children until the cycle continue Blaming on Puerto Rico, blaming on OJ Blaming on everybody except for your own race Blaming on black niggas and blaming on black citizens Aiming the black businesses, I ain't saying I'm innocent, but I might be any day now Treating everybody how you want in any way how I swear North Korea about to bomb us any day now And now I'm ducking every time I hear a fucking plane now Shit You know I make a lot of sense but you just can't admit it When Eminem went against Trump that was the illest Cause even though he's white he let us know he's standing with us I'm not racist But I cry a lot You don't know what it's like to be in a frying pot You don't know what it's like to mind your business and get stopped by the cops And I know if you about to die or not you worry about your life, so you take mine I love you, but I fucking hate you at the same time I wish we could trade shoes, or we could change lives So we can understand each other more, but that'll take time I'm not racist It's like we living in the same building, but split into both sides I'm not racist But there's two sides of every story, and now you know mine Oh, black guy just completed his rap Can't erase the scars with a bandage I'm hoping maybe we can come to an understanding Agree to disagree, we can have an understanding I'm not racist
feel very much that um, the song is very much um, relevant, especially because of that awesome conclusion. So one of the things I have a problem with is how there is a certain political party <coughs> left and they are not willing to hear an alternative point of view. I love this conclusion because regardless of where I stood, one was willing to listen to the other and the other was willing to listen to the other. So you saw that when the song starts, the black guy is just there sitting and he's taking it all in. Then it swaps. The white guy sitting and he's taking it all in. Even when he was not in agreement, even when he shook his head when he was talking about Trump, but he still listened until the end. And because both of them were willing to listen to each other's points of view, um, they were able to have an understanding. They hugged each other at the end. Hug does not necessarily mean I am in agreement with your point of view or I have now taken everything that I believed and thrown it out and now it's just going to be what you believe and I'm going to fully embrace it. No, it simply means, look, I'm an individual. This is how I see things. I go through things that you cannot relate with, though we are people. But there are certain things because of socioeconomic backgrounds, because of history, because of culture, whatever it might be. And I like that, though they were different, they still came together and saw themselves as people. And although the video cut with them having agreed and talking as people, um, you get that idea that who knows, maybe after this, they're going to go and have drinks together or they're going to go and have food together at a restaurant. We don't know. However, just the fact that the conclusion really suggests that from now on, they are people and they're going to discuss and talk as people, not as left and right, not as Democrat, Republican, but as people. So I feel it's a very... It's a very relevant song and unlike certain songs and certain endeavors which seek to push one movement and ended there. This was quite open and um, I think this gave it a fuller scope because um, to be honest, they I'm a person so as a person I also hold my own views on certain things. Um, but in watching the video, there were certain things I was forced to maybe reconsider. Um, for example, when it comes to um, when it comes to the disparity, um, I do n Th this song made me say, look, um, in as much as um perhaps look to Af look at african americans and i'm like well you guys do drugs um you want to scream whites are racist but y'all are doing drugs you know and um it's still a choice you're a human it's a choice in as much as perhaps i still hold that point of view um it also opened me up to say well yes they do do drugs and it's a choice but maybe it's a choice that some do because options are really limited. So in as much as it's easy to judge the guy on the street doing drugs, it's easy to judge the woman who's selling her body um, to make an income. It's easy to look at that and be like, well, that's the easy way out. Um, for some people, it's not like they have options such that they can just create a CV and, you know, um, go to some organization or mail it and expect to hear from their HR manager. Um, options are not limited. Sorry, options are quite limited. So I think it's a very insightful song. And um, yeah, uh, I really enjoyed it. I really enjoyed it and I think after this I'm gonna listen to it again without the cameras without everything from here so yeah that's just my little reaction video um, 
my name is Suzumushi. I actually have a vlog channel, but I want this kind of content to not be in the vlog channel, but to be in this channel, which seeks to talk about issues that many don't talk about. So thanks for watching. Peace. About his rapping and stunting and being ratchet, and that's the nigga within you. Music right in your brain and slowly start to convince you. Then you let your kids listen, and then the cycle continues. Blame it all on the menu, blame it on those drinks, blame it on everybody except for your own race. Blame it on white privileges, blame it on white kids, and just blame it on white citizens. Aim it to vice president.